The newest update in Fortnite Season 2 introduces us to some monolith structures that have been multiplying across the island recently, but what are these structures? Why are they even here on the island? And is Fortnite really facing the threat of a volcano for the second time? Well, let's find out all of that. In Season 2's first release, a set of these single monolith-like structures were found on the island near the Kenjutsu Crossing in the Japanese biome, and this location is home to the River Guard. If you search the other biomes across the island, you will find two more sets of these monolith structures, with this one being the Marine Monolith. Monolith, and there's also many mossy monoliths as well as the mountain monoliths. I gather that these names are based on what biome the structures are in, as mountain monoliths are found in the snowy mountains, and the marine monoliths are next to the river guard's main base. Now in terms of what purpose these structures serve, we know that they intend to corrupt anyone who goes near them with their music, which sounds very similar to the theme of the Herald. Take a listen. Now that sounds pretty suspicious, doesn't it? The song that plays near the monoliths across the island, which you just heard, is actually in an upcoming music pack for a skin that isn't released yet. And what a surprise, it's a storyline skin and her name is Serenade. Serenade is actually a mythological siren character, which is a female whose voice pulls in people and makes them feel hypnotized by whoever is singing. The song you heard earlier is actually sung by Serenade, and its purpose is to haunt and corrupt anyone who hears it, which explains why the monoliths are in their three specific places. The first set of monoliths is right next to the Oathbound Castle. The other is next to the Reality Warrior's Brutal Bastion. And finally, the original monoliths are right by the River Guard's Japanese town. The Oathbound, Reality Warriors, and the River Guard are three factions trying to save the Fortnite Island and ultimately stop the last reality and the nothing. So in defense, Serenade is trying to eliminate all the heroes by corrupting them with her singing. And of course, she is definitely a last reality member. I mean, she sings the Herald's theme and she's got chrome all over her. How much more obvious could this get? Well, I'm glad you asked because the pattern across her skin is the same as the one on the Cube Queen. I'm really glad this was noticed because it tells us she probably works for the Cube Queen and the Herald too from the Chrome, and if they aren't both already dead, then maybe they'll return. I'm not too confident the Cube Queen is alive after the whole flipping island thing. But let's say theoretically that she is, but the Herald is dead. The Herald's Grave, which is a tree, is on this island, and if these ritual-like towers keep playing her theme song, maybe they are here to heal her body and revive the Herald to life? There's a version of the Herald in an upcoming skin survey that suggests she will return and she's going to be reborn, so she probably will come back, or at least that is a pretty common theory right now. Personally, I just believe that these towers are here to corrupt our heroes, but then they'll join the last reality to commence their final plan on the zero point. But what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at the location of the monolith spaced out across the island, their exact middle point sits on the zero point in a hidden away vault in the jungle. But it seems like this area is slowly being broken apart. In Fortnite's most recent update, Deep cracks in the island's ground have started appearing all around the zero point, and there's no way this is a coincidence, especially with how it links into the location of the last reality's monoliths. And many people are saying right now that these cracks might even lead to a volcano like what happened in Season 8, but I'd say it's much more important and unique than that. Sure, I guess a volcano would cause tons of chaos and it would maybe even destroy Mega City, but if the last reality are behind all of this, they're gonna want to continue their plan of destroying everything, and instead of lava erupting from the ground, it will be the zero point itself, and just hear me out on this one. The monoliths that have arrived in game are all connected to absolutely all of this because if you find the middle point of the monoliths, it lands almost exactly on the zero point. Once the Nothing's army is assembled and all of our heroes are corrupted, more and more monoliths are likely to rise and cause a seismic disturbance and earthquakes just like the imagined order drills in Chapter 3 Season 2. Ultimately, the ground will all start to break apart, and the zero point will be totally exposed, and this is what these new cracks are trying to do. It's the last reality's final attempt to expose and destroy the zero point, and at this point, there will be quite literally nothing that we'll be able to do to stop them. Our heroes will be all corrupted like what happened to the Seven, and the Herald might even return. Point is, the plan is all starting to come together, and it's amazing to see Epic pull off yet another exciting season of Fortnite that hopefully will come to an end with an awesome live event that's much better than Fracture, but don't get too excited because you never know, this event could be worse or it might not even happen, but I have my hopes. What, the what do you guys think about this upcoming possible event? And subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite storyline, and watch this video here!